Sydney. Good morning, Adam. That's right. And it is starting to warm up. It was a little chilly out here. So I guess this is the perfect weather now for the race. Now happening this weekend, the 50th anniversary for the Chevron Houston Marathon happening. It's expected to bring in many spectators and participants, which could bring large crowds leading to some traffic around the city. Now the race will start at Congress and Fannin and finish at Lamar and Crawford. Drivers can expect a lot of signage, block offs, and rerouting in this area, as well as downtown Houston, areas of West Downtown, major streets like Allen Parkway and Memorial Drive. And along with the excitement of the race, runners with the Chevron Houston Marathon will also get a sneak peek of Memorial Park's tunnels built for the land bridge that's set to open soon. The land bridge is part of a $70 million project that includes a prairie restoration. It's expected to be complete by the end of this year. Now some important information for participants. Expo and packet pickup began today from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Marathon officials emphasize that all runners must have their ID. There's no pickup on the day of the race. And in fact, here's something cool. One of our own CW39, Hannah, is participating in the marathon this weekend. She's been gearing up, preparing, and on a journey to this marathon. Hannah, kind of talk about that experience and what, you've, uh, what you can expect for this Sunday. You know what, uh, I've been training for about 12 to 13 weeks and I'm pretty pumped for the race this weekend. I'm trying to get like, a personal record at a PR. I don't know if I'm going to do it, so I'm going to take advantage of all the Houstonians that are going to be out there cheering people on. I'm hoping I can get Kudos that done. Right, kudos to you because I know for me, I cannot run that far. I stop at the 200 mark. I am a Come sprinter, on. so kudos to you. And you're going to have to update us next week on your experience at the marathon. So good luck. Reporting live, Sydney Simone, CW39, Houston. On Monday, I'll let you everyone know how I did in the race, but right now we're